Hello, my name is Donna Allegre, and I'm going to be discussing the Black Arts Movement as well as using the diet formula. Um, to give a brief summary about the movement, I basically learned that it was founded in Harlem, New York, but it also made its way to Chicago, Illinois, Detroit, Michigan, San Francisco, and California. Mr. Baranca said that he founded it because he wanted to leave his integrate, integrated life and to really be hurt as a person. Um, as I said, our Mary Baranca started the foundation of the black move. Black Arts Movement, which was the start to it all. Therefore, he is the foundation of it all. Um, this, The Black Arts Movement was a home to workshops in poetry, playwriting, music, and painting. I learned that the Black Arts Movement emphasized self-determination for black people um, to be a several culture existence in their own terms and how like to express the beauty of their culture and the differences and basically tell a story about their culture and who they are. These poets wanted to change the way the average person saw other black people. This movement wanted to tell their stories and all the successes and hardships they had. And they also wanted to stand up and fight for their culture and come together. When the movement would get upset, they would express themselves with raw contacts or context, <laughs> which often expressed violent acts, which could be considered racist or homophobic. And this is how they stood up for themselves as a movement when they were really fighting for an issue they were really passionate about and believed in. Black po poetic language drew in on black musical forms. Uh, the one that it drew in on the most is jazz music. It also included, it also includes black vernacular speech, African folk tale, radical experimentation, which included sound, spelling, and grammar. What really drew me to picking this movement over any other movement that we're allowed to pick was um, I just basically love learning about different cultures and like their hardships they had to face to get where they are today. And due to this, I picked this movement and it just really intrigued me how they all came together and fought for each other as one as if they were like a whole together. I really liked the poet Haki Madhu Madhubuti, <laughs> I wanna say. Um he wrote quote and the mission is how do we become a whole people and how do we begin to essentially tell our narrative while at the same time move forward a level of success in the country in the world end quote this really made me put some time aside and think on a deeper level what these people back in the day had to go through um this quote made me think about how hard it was then and just just to even be heard Nothing else but to just be heard. People were not listening. People were not hearing. So it really kind of makes me happy how they started this movement for people, for them to be heard. And they finally were, but it only lasted a short period of time, <laughs> which 
it still impacted the society we are today. Um, I think this movement's important because they came together as a culture and they all fought to be heard. Um, they may have told a bunch of different stories, but in the end, all their stories intertwined together and they all came together as one. The work of these artists, I believe, influences our culture by giving confidence to African Americans today to stand up for what they believe in. And I also believe it gave confidence to people who are pursuing jobs in art and poetry, in writing and acting, and who are also as well African American in doing that. I believe it gave them kind of inspiration to do so. In conclusion, um, I would say I really enjoyed learning about this movement, and thank you for assigning the project because it gave me, uh, it made me educated on this movement, and I didn't know anything about it before. So have a good one. <laughs>